Welcome back to Whispers Below the Cobblestone. Apparently there's barracks down here. What so people are saying. Thought I heard some breathing. They might have been right in what they were saying. a lot of weird particles. That means that water is poisonous or what? I don't know. Kind of looks like there's a path up here, but I think there's not. I think that's just me misreading the silhouette. We don't want the barracks to uh, get excited by my presence too soon. Why is this suddenly super bright? One fraction of a step away from here. So, is this poisonous? Uh, yes, it just immediately kills me. Well, that's kind of weird. But okay. Uh huh. Where did our bike friend go? Not sure, but I guess to take advantage of his absence. Oh, is that where he went? Or is that a different one? Oh, what was that other passageway then? Indulge my curiosity here for a minute. Aha! This looks like a place. Standing on some wood. Key. Diary of the Journey, Entry 1. The tunnels are far bigger than I anticipated. It'll be hard to bypass this foul mouth barracks. We've also found evidence that Hammerites have set foot in these tunnels before, so it'll be wise not to alert their attention. Entry 2. Our predictions were indeed true. These ruins seem to hold the cursed shaman hand somewhere within them, but it is highly unlikely it will be left lying out in the open. We should be able to gain entrance very soon. Till then, we should have ample time to rest and feed ourselves. And avoid being eaten by barracks. Okay, so. Yeah, that's it. Just break into the ruins now. Alright. Can I get with that? Just a leg. Yeah, well, that's. Less welcoming. Um, ruin key. That sounds like a bug beast to me. I'm not really equipped for bug beasts. I suppose I can hit them on the back of the head. Why is there the eye right here? What I can't tell is if that thing's gonna see me the moment I step out. Being able to hear footsteps and not being able to see what's down the passageway is. They're just getting around in circles in that room, I can't tell. I 
can't see it. It's just a fancy torch. Not actually the eye. Okay. Is there actually a thing there walking? Yes. Seems to be stuck there. Seems to work. Fast finding troubles working in my favor for a change. Oh wow. Okay, big stalactites. Hoping for a way to rope up and uh, not be sitting at ground level here. saw its friend. Well, I don't think it saw it enough to be extremely concerned, but it saw something disconcerting. I can maybe mantle up on there? Well, we could if the torch wasn't in the way. I mean, we could probably mantle the torch, right? Yeah, I keep running over the edge of this lip. No, I can't mantle the torch. I guess I can go this side. His eyes are glowing, alright. Get some directions here. That's just spooky, not actually a trap. Everything all sealed off. Check that room in a minute. Right. So we've come around. So let's go over here. See, okay. Haven't explored that lower level. Let's try getting over here. that we need. Can I get to that window is the question. Once I get to the hand, can I escape with my skin? Have I been here? Yes. Can I get down without damage? I'm sure I can. It's 
see if I've missed any loot. None that I noticed. Hello, what's this? <laughs> I mean, it's a grave. An arm sticking out. There's a book. There's some blood. Okay, right, grab the legend. Why are you not mantling that? It was uh, too close for comfort. Right, well, if you're not going to mantle that, let's. Uh, Right this way. I'm concerned, of course, that once I take the hand, something's going to happen, so. I just want to scout ahead. Getting stuck in geometry. Caves, okay. It looks reasonably clear. Who knows if it will stay that way? <laughs> Can't read the book. No, nothing happened. Got the shaman hand. Less magical than they made it out to be. <laughs> so, is this where the barracks were patrolling? Yeah, right, okay. So, I didn't see where this tu tunnel over, so far, right over there. I didn't see where that led to, but maybe we can. Find out. Seems unlikely it's going to connect up with this. I'd love if any of these plants had some fruit. That would be beautiful. It doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. No, I need machinery. We're coming out to Amorites. Sewers. Very sewerish. Hello. Oh wait, we're back in the undersea, right? Oh, of course. This is down. This is this room, where the, which I didn't actually properly explore. Maintenance Report Log 204. All machinery seems to be in excellent condition. There is no need for maintenance. 205. Machinery is fine, but some of the greetings appear to be rusty. 206. Machinery has been having problems. The temperature readings are far too high. Additionally, I've been hearing some loud noises behind the walls and the sewers. Some of the old tunnels must have collapsed. 207. Machinery is still running, but their temperature readings are reaching critical levels. 208. Machinery has been repaired by the service crew and is now in perfect working condition. The rusty greetings, however, continue to deteriorate. Yeah, somebody fell to their death because of it. Oh, right, and there's a ladder to get back up. I'm a little curious. Garrett. Oh, it's 
not a door. All right. Um. So it looks kind of like a door from here, right? It's not. Okay, so that'll take me back to the other city. Okay, I do want to find out where the. Uh, I would love to find out where that other bike tunnel goes, since we know the Undercity reasonably well. Well, I don't know if I know a way out of it. Still, that's a different question entirely. We did find a fruit in one of the plants before, but seem to be dumb luck more than anything else. Oh wait, did it not go this way at all? Okay, there's just nothing to do, nothing I, nothing I can do out this way. Uh, he seems to have... Do we hear something upsetting or is he just making noise? I like the uh, green man in the stained glass window, that's nice. That's what they probably would have been better done just as a fixture rather than brushwork. So he climbs up and goes up that slope, right? Back up the way I came in, yeah. So at least me free to run up this tunnel where there's another barrack patrolling. Weirdly, highly visible in pitch black places because the lighting is so weird in this mission. Ah, here comes another. in fruits and loots, but, you know, I guess we take what we can get. <laughs> Hello, how much have been here? <laughs> oh my god, I'm definitely glad I came back to explore yeah. this way. That's going to be immensely beneficial. Can now meet some angry hammerites and get all that healing undone in in quick order. Beautiful. To all brethren, now that the tunnel system has been discovered next to the mine, it is our duty to deal with the barrack from in the depths right below. I fear that they will hinder any further explorations we may attempt. Brother Roman, build a rest of soul, has fallen to his death securing the ledgers. Until we have coordinated a plan, I shall keep this area locked tight. Brother Lucius. Oh, does that mean I can't get back? Well, we can pick the lock on the door, that's no problem. I was just opening the door into my face there and then not being able to close it again. It's like you have to walk backwards in Thief 1 fashion. Um, which they fixed in Thief 2, but I remember there was one part 
So in the earlier when I got stuck behind a door that in such a position, right? There's one part in my mission where that was possible in an obscure corner. One one tester reported it. Oh I guess it's not locked as tight as you thought it was, huh? We can come out to the mines. Down there. Oh, I was gonna say, what's the tunnel across here? There isn't a tunnel across here. What was I saying? Oh yeah, talking about doors. Um, and unfortunately, it was in the, it was in a room that where there wasn't space. Uh, it was too late to try and rebuild the room, and there wasn't space to make it um, to change the location of the door so there's a bit more room behind it, so you wouldn't actually get stuck. I didn't really have any good design choices here, and I guess maybe that's the case with this door in this mission. What I did, oh, sorry about all the horrific flashing lights here. Um, yeah, okay. I think they've sealed it, they haven't. Wait a minute. What was that room I could see through this hole in the wall? Well, maybe there's nothing there. I can't see any sign of loot or anything. So who knows? Maybe that's all there is. That's strange that the elevator... Somebody left the elevator at the bottom of the shaft, and yet the only person down here is the person who died, but someone else came later and left a note. I guess they just sent it back down. I guess they're allowed to do that. Oh, the elevator shaft is sealed too, right. Incredibly loud there. Why am I hearing footsteps? There's closed doors. Maybe he's in that room. No. I hear footsteps and voices. I'm alright, but no. Oh, that's right. That's why. Right, coming through those windows. No one walks here now. That makes a bit more sense. Yeah. So when I had a door where it was a gameplay problem, I ended up writing a a new door script to fix that, so that when I got Interrupted in its opening, it would um, close again, Thief 2 style. And then I posted it on the forums for other people to use when, when they encountered the same problem, but I guess. I want to get behind this guy, but I'm not sure I'm going to have the opportunity to, right? I don't know, I should follow him out. I think this mission this mission was 2021, so a little disappointed that you have getting stuck behind doors problems. But whatever. People build the missions in different ways.
I mean, there's a lot of these little polished features don't really matter to most people. Okay, so he's just going to stand there. Give me the opportunity to sneak out here. Drums in a hammerhead area seems very strange. It, to me, they're very. Well, it's not quite drums, it's like. Uh... I don't know, but there's this rhythmic, almost drumming flow. All is silence now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but the uh, you just heard. You must have heard my loot going bling. Question is, shit. Question is, there's nowhere to hide down here. Uh, I wanted to check that area, but I was not. I was getting distracted. I need to do it the moment he leaves, rather than cutting down banners. Arms against the wreaker of havoc. Well, that's a nice title for me, okay. I guess I should have waited to cut it until I was ready to leave. I shall still find thee, never fear. Face the- <sighs> I'll flatten thee. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Have some havoc. Reaped in your face. So I rebound finally after how many videos rebound my uh, keys? So F1, F2, and F3 are now all flash bombs. Okay, there is nothing down here. Um, so, you know, I just mash in the general direction of those keys and I can grab flash bombs in an emergency. It's a much better situation than I had before. Okay. Yeah, this my, was my last flash bomb now, so... I shall have to be a little careful. It was entirely my fault, I didn't think it would react so strongly. So the question of getting out of the Undercity is not... You know what? Let's go up. I think that's the ground floor. I'm not sure, but theme is ground floorish. So I guess we're up here now. No, oh, there is an upper floor. Still do our uh, necessary vandalism. Going back downstairs now. Hearing the uh, change in footsteps patterns. Well, that's what I'm looking for. 
Nice drink after a hard day's exploration under the city. Don't tell me that's a healing fountain. Alright. Leaping at the carpet and missing by 17 miles. What? Nothing in here? Oops. Anything sneakily hiding behind the barrels? Yes, there is. Lost hammer. I'm gonna keep four of these. Well, right, we'll let's go back down. Westward facing exit here must be here. It's not quite a Goldenberg's place yet. I think I want to wait for him to come up and get him through and up the stairs there. I could, could leave this way. I'm going to leave the door open as a reminder. Here he comes. Yeah, he'll be back very quickly. Shout escape me. You won't even walk into me here, but you can possibly still see me, I'm not sure. Yeah, you saw me. So this is where I came from, right? Yes. I wasn't sure if maybe there were two staircases. No, because the stairs... Uh, yeah. Okay. So 
So he was in that room. He's still gonna be on the alert. deal with that problem. Oh, he has another room back here. somebody coming in here. I think he's still just up, up above. Not really clear on the direction of that sound. 20... What's our loop goal? 2500. We're almost there, I think. Considering we haven't even been to Mr... Lord, what's his face's place yet? We should be fine, I reckon. Hamaric Compendium of Precepts, Regimens and Rules of Conduct, Volume 30. What is that more is more important, the tapestry as a whole or the arrangement of one individual thread? The tapestry is more important, but it is the result of many threads. The arrangement of one thread can ruin the tapestry. Be not so proud as to neglect the small details, nor so pedantic as to disregard the bigger picture. Thine home was not built in a day, and neither shall thine acolytes mind. Okay, so I really like that they've written their own entry to that uh, book rather than just reusing one of the stock ones that uh, tends to happen um, I think that's great what I was saying is that second bit about the acolytes mind seems to be I'm getting stuck on the stairs there I don't know you know the character just doesn't want to run up that step. There you go, it's one unit high stairs by you there. Sometimes funky. Okay, where have I been here? I don't remember. Fleeing in kind of a hurry, didn't I? I don't remember. All oh, right, no, to the left there is the upper bit above there. Yeah. This is the stairs, right? I want to go back to that up in here. Okay, I think we're done with the hammer rights then. <laughs> so I saw an opportunity to leap across the street, and I'm going to take that rather than climbing out a window like a, a non aerial uh, burglar. Oh wow, this whole place is up there, right. <laughs> Are you done even empty your bucket? So that can't be a dead end, I saw another open window in the same building. Must be here. Yes, good, good, good. Apple! Beautiful. Somebody's having a good time. Oh, there's a drunk guy. Oh, 
I guess there's nowhere to go from here but in the window. <sighs> so art should come into that room, I can't tell. He also sounds like he's been alerted earlier today, which worries me because I'm not sure how that would have happened. I don't think I've been in this area at all. Maybe he's just pissed off at his, at his pissed colleague. <laughs> to come and head back and follow him. If I can get out the window without making a ton of clatter. <sighs> and get into the window without making not making a ton of clatter, but... Don't see anything now. <sighs> the window is too small for me to drop properly from, but thankfully the ledge made that dive off. Hello. Where does he watch when he's up there? He looks this way? Yes, okay. So I still have to be careful about the light. That's a very nice rooftop roof crawl out there. I don't know how right place across here. Across the ridge. The ridge of that roof. It's very cool. Actually, let's check the map. We came west from the Hammerites. So that's this tower, so we're right here. Okay, so we're gonna. I wanna head. Well, there's half of Lord Ravenhurst I haven't been into. Right, which is presumably, or well, maybe not accessible. Might it looked accessible, but maybe it's not. Um, if it was accessible, it'd have to be from this side. Otherwise, I guess I really should just be heading towards Goldenberg, right? Because that's our primary goal: is to steal his his thingamajig painting. Wait, 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 I'm hearing another guard. Hello, we got an open window up there. What? How did you see me? Wow, that drunk guy has remarkable perception. I'm not sure how, he, how the other guy saw me, but he was just there. couldn't see him at all. Where is he? I should have knocked him out. 
Don't worry, I'll find you. Not having any good places to run except back out of my rope is a little awkward. Okay. I waste another water here. Oh, that doesn't make it dark at all. Why the hell is it light here? Why is this room full of light? It makes no sense. I think he's just gonna come back right back and see me again. That absolutely, I was when I said waste of water, I, don't know, I didn't mean it was a waste. I thought it was actually going to be useful, but no. This room is somehow super bright despite it being dark outside. It's the light is shining in the window. Well, can't be the moonlight. Look at the weird direction of the moonlight on that roof. And <laughs> Artistic license light. Turns the other way. Make sure he's not gonna come and bother me again. I'll send better for everybody that way. I just I still don't know how he suddenly freaked to my presence, but because he was like down there, wasn't he? <sighs> maybe maybe there's a footstep he had. I don't know. I certainly didn't hear a loud footstep, but maybe he heard something signifying one. Not a door. That's a door. That's not a door. Okay. Statue here. a little surprising. Carrot. Carrot, can you get on the table? Okay, I should go back and get my uh, get my rope out of there. That's an easy way out. Waste not. Sometimes want not. Never really sure whether you're wasting something or not. Like that water arrow and then arguably even that moss arrow perhaps. Although I think that moss arrow was very justified. It did do its job well. Coins down there, mate. It's definitely a coin. Wait till your friend has turned around and then steal your money. Okay. He's noticed that very nice. Vision at distance is a problem. Okay. So we came south.
across here. So this is this building now, yes. We're not down at street level by any means. Uh, I thought I was going to be at street level. Okay, I could head east around this ledge, and that'd probably be a good way to get to Lord Guldenberg's. You know what? On the other hand, this goes through... Ah, we've been in this area, so let's, let's go through here, right? Seems reasonable. So we see that garden again that we uh, saw, and then we can come back again along the ledge. It's okay. Mm. You know what I realized? Back in an area where it's not absolute pitch black ambience, this looks like a more normal kind of 20 or 30 level of light. I can actually see things. Throat clearing friend. I shall walk the path. Yes, she does. She doesn't seem to come into this bedroom. Very near the loot goal now. Oh well, sorry. Guess it was nothing. Well, she comes in here, so she doesn't always patrol the same way. I guess that's fair enough. <laughs> She's got work to do in lots of rooms. Someone there? Who knows what it was? I guess I do want to follow her. Do I want to follow her down? I guess I was going to say, I do want to go downstairs because it's where the guard was patrolling I haven't been. I guess I can't remember if I did everything I wanted to in this room. I want to see where this goes. This is east. East. Wait, is this taking us into Goldenberg's place? I mean, it's the 
right direction. <laughs> and these are mages. I like this floor, I really like this floor. Very nicely done. Trying to steal in here. I don't know, but he's gonna see me if I'm not careful. Greetings, Armand. Have you any word from Apprentice Taran and Apprentice Mondrus? They've been busy exploring the subterranean district, hoping to find clues as to the whereabouts of the fabled Shaman's Hand. If our latest transcriptions are correct, it must be hidden somewhere beneath this part of High Town. It may have been a mistake to hand them the key that we found during our last expedition, but I believe it will be of use whenever we stumble upon that accursed place. In other news, I believe it's high time that we do something about Niram. I'm sure you'll agree that nobody should be allowed to leave the Order without consequence. Our rules and traditions must be upheld. We should take action swiftly, lest he unleash his powers again. Melchior. Right, we saw... Is a letter from Melchior or someone else? I can't remember. Oh, there's a chest. Let's see if I can just use my old-fashioned zoom powers to see if there's anything on the table, maybe. Doesn't look like it. pillar in the middle of the room is a good example of how you can, you know, make a room sneakable. I mean, it would have been a lot harder without the dark corner here to hide in, so... I don't know how you do it if you were choosing to supreme ghost instead of just ordinary, but... Adds a lot of tension, but uh, it's doable. You can use the pillar as the uh, kind of Something to dodge around. This guy's patrol is predictable, so it's not like you have to suddenly change direction when you can't really see where he's going, which is which is good, I suppose. It does just look like papers. I'm gonna go. <coughs> or not. Thank you for the mantling there, Garrett. Well done. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was only two hit points of my eight, you know, only 25% of my health. I'm certainly not getting... No, I could go down this way, actually. Do I want to? I could just drop down onto that barrel. That would be pretty safe. Where are we? No, I want to go back to that ledge. Coming back in here again. Alright. I'll go down and follow the guard out the other way. Hmm. 
Look at this, they've, they've got the carpet absolutely aligned with the room, but the uh, floorboards are at a different angle. I just, I'm amused by that. Right, I've been to all those other rooms, I believe, so... She comes in here, but I don't think the guard does. Well, that's all there is in here for me. There's the guard, so we want to follow him out. Oh, angled floorboards in here too. She's coming down the stairs now just to... Bad timing. Hey, what's that sound? I want to get behind him, I think. Because I don't know where I'm going to hide if I go out there. <laughs> so following him means I could just be walking. He doesn't stay out there too long, so if I follow him, I might just uh, walk out and have him turn around and see me. Where's a quick run? Is that you? Run now. Oh, we're here. This is the barrel. No idea where I am. Brand new building of some kind. Okay. City by Sir Gatur Edgeworth. Hey Nathan, I did as you said and overheard the majors talking about lost ruins or something. It looks like there's some pretty relic involved and magic and curses. Think of the gems though, this is definitely worth checking out. I reckon I'll explore these caves myself. I've been doing this for years, so navigating them should be a cinch. But first I'll need to find a way in. I'm sure I'll work something out though. I always do. Leave everything to me, Leonard. Okay. Oh, that's... I see. That's clever. <laughs> that's the major's window there. Alright, don't think this ledge is safe to go on. Well, we could get down to street level, actually. Something. That's fine though, I don't want your uh, little magic head about it. Quiet, get it. Did that shadow move? Can't hear it anymore. Probably not. Where's that key that I just found? Right, that's the garden. That was in that sort I saw from that window there and went I went across that window box. So okay, we've got beams metal beams, I can't climb up those. <laughs> I could get down here into the garden by jumping onto the tree. You know what? I think I'm just gonna sit here and admire it for a minute. And uh, end the episode here. So thanks very much for watching. When you come back I guess we'll be back down to the street and finally heading to Lord Bildenberg's to steal his uh, painting. So we'll see you then.